Hello everyone. So welcome to my YouTube channel Bharat Insights. So I have started this YouTube channel to showcase all my ideas, all my knowledge and uh, related to this data platform technologies to all of you. You can also check out my YouTube channel called Bharat Insights for more interview videos which I have already posted. So basically I am a Microsoft MVP. I have 7 plus years of an experience and I have 50,000 plus followers on LinkedIn and I am a content creator. So the following are my Instagram and YouTube channels and if you want to reach out to me on LinkedIn you can check out my LinkedIn profile here. So most of the times we will be having uh, a scenario where how we can crack this Power BI interviews. In my experience most of the Power BI interviews will go in this single pattern only which is nothing but there is a five phase approach available. So in this video I am going to give you better strategies how you can tackle your Power BI interviews. Okay. So with wait till the end of this video you will be getting many many interview related scenarios in this whole video itself. So overall Power BI interviews when you are attending for this Power BI interviews the entire interviews would be divided into five different phases. Okay. So you can crack this Power BI interviews with better confidence uh, by writing down all the strategies once this video gets over and uh, with this five approaches. So let me jump and explain each and every phase in detail then I'll go and talk about the more scenarios what kind of questions you are going to face. So Power BI interview success mantra. So there are five phases which I already mentioned. The first and foremost phase is a power query editor which is the heart of the Power BI is nothing but a power query editor. And the next phase you are having is a data modeling. Most of the interviews will ask you a lot of questions on this data modeling. And the third phase is a DAX data analysis expression in the Power BI interview. And the fourth phase is a data visualization and the final phase is a Power BI service. So any question which you are going to face in your interviews would revolve in these five phases. I'll tell you a brief, you know, interviewer starts your checking skills uh, whether you are good with Power BI or not with just a Power Query Editor. So they wanted to understand are you good with data cleaning or not. So first they will start your questions in this Power Query Editor itself. So they will be asking you like three to four questions on Power Query Editor. So once they will be getting certain confidence on this data cleaning activities then the interview panel will go and ask to the next phase is a data modeling. So in data modeling whether you are able to build the data model for your client data or not. So how you have connected your schemas and all those elements. So if you are also good with this data modeling if you have if you are able to answer those questions the next they will be touching on few scenario related DAX. So you know if you are like one year to ten years of an experienced candidate. So the most scenario questions would be revolved around this DAX only. So they will be asking you DAX related scenarios. So even if you are able to answer this DAX related scenarios then the next interview panel will ask this data visualization. What is our assumption basically we thought that you know Power BI interview only revolves in this data visualization. The answer is absolutely no. Data visualization is the fourth phase in your whole Power BI interview. Okay. So once you are good with this Power Query Editor, Data Modeling and DAX then only you will be getting a questions into data visualization. So again I will be covering brief on the data visualization as well. So if you are able to answer and this data visualization again then the questions uh, you know the interview will touch on this Power BI service. Whether you are a developer or you are also good with sharing and collaborate these reports into Power BI service. Are you good with uh, you know sharing the collaborative reports in this uh, Power BI service. So overall these are the five phases any of your Power BI interview with any different experience would be revolved. So next I will be talking in detail about the each phase in this Power BI interview. So as I mentioned the first phase is a Power Query Editor. So basically Power Query focuses on this data preparation and the transformations. It means once you are you know if you want to connect your data into Power BI. So Power Query is the first fundamental phenomenon where you will bring your data into Power BI. So here you would be <coughs> dealing with a lot of data import and from various sources whatever the source available you you can able to impact Im import this data into Power BI. And cleaning and transforming data can also be done with this Power Query and advanced data and M language basics and common transformations like 
merging, appending and uh, unpivot and split columns. So definitely your interview starts with this Power Query Editor for sure. So in this Power Query Editor, so this is how the Power Query Editor looks like. So interviewer may ask you, oh, you know, different scenarios like there is a situation in your data column. Uh, there are, you know, few categories which are mentioned uh, like instead of X, it is mentioned as Y category. So how do you replace your whole data in this Power Query Editor? So in this, you know, you have to tell your panel in such a way that I'll be using a one of the step called Power Query Transmission, which is nothing but replace values. I'll find out the client requirement and I'll find, find out the existing requirement. Then I'll be using this replace values option in Power Query Transmission. Then I will be resolving that issue. So this is one of the way you can able to answer in your interview. So in the similar fashion, they may ask you, can you explain group by you know, how you have done in your Power Query Editor and also split columns. There are, you know, first name and last name combined together in one of the column called customer name. So you have to split your name into first name and last name. So how do you split that? Basically, you can use this split column operator. So these are all transmissions and like that, there are several transmission like, you know, I will be if, if you need more Power Query transmission in one specific video, do let me know in the comment so that I can able to, you know, pre prepare a detailed video on this Power Query transmission as well. So as of now, this is how the Power Query editor looks like. So they, they will be quite, there are questions revolving around this top panel. And in the left side, you will be having all the queries in the sense, uh, what are the, what is the data you have loaded? And this is your, you know, table. How does it looks like uh, after loading? And in the right side, you have all these query settings. Whatever the transmissions you are applied on this, it would be recorded and stored here. And you know, in the fifth, you, you will be having how many your records, rows and columns, the base statistics of your data. So this is about the Power Query Editor. So if you are good with this Power Query, you know, I would say 20% of your Power BI interview would be easy for you to tackle into the next level. So on this note, I'll be moving to the next element in this Power BI interview, which is nothing but a data modeling. So this phase evaluates your understanding of building efficient data models. So basically once you have you, you loaded multiple sheets into this Power BI, so the panel will try to understand you are good with data modeling concepts or not. So they will be asking questions. How do you create, create a relationship between those two tables? So they'll be asking you how many cardinalities we are having it. So that kind of a questions the interview will expect. And here itself, the interview may ask you normalization versus denormalization. So you all, you need to be good with this normalization and denormalization concepts as well. And also the next, they'll be asking you cardinality and relationship types. So how many ways we can able to build a cardinality between the two tables? Basically there are four, one, two, one, one, two, many, many, two, one, many, two, many. And uh, the filter directions are like one uh, single as well as the both directions. So four types we can able to make the relationships and the mandatory question is how many to many relationship is it really important important to provide in your data model. If, if it is that situation is available, how do you denormalize? How do you make it one to many or many to one? So that kind of scenarios, they'll be touching on this data modeling and how many kinds of schemas, what kind of schemas you have developed so far in your projects. So they'll be asking you whether you are good with star schema or a snowflake schema. So this is related to phase two called data modeling. So if in your interview, if you are able to tackle this data modeling concepts, well, then if I'm someone I can able to get gain some better confidence. Okay, you are good with this data modeling as well. So on this note, I'll be moving to the next phase. So this is how the data model uh, looks like. You will be having a centralized transaction table which is connected to all your dimension tables. So this is basically a structured uh, snowflake schema. If you don't have the salesperson table, then it will become uh, a star schema. Okay, and you have this one to many direction here. It's you have, you know, one to one connected together. So this is how the structure of a schema looks like in an interview. They'll be asking you more questions on this. So you have to be very much prepared on this data modeling concepts as well. So next phase, if you are good with this data modeling and power query transmissions, the interview will ask you a lot of DAX related questions. DAX testing measures your ability to write advanced calculations and measure. If you are an experienced candidate, let's say three plus years of an experience, you will be getting a lot of DAX questions for sure in your interview. So in which the interview will ask you 
basics of calculated columns and measure so basically they will be trying to check on you or uh, whether measure is a suitable solution for you or a calculated column is a suitable solution so here you should be in a position to answer well uh, with respect to any of the example and they'll be asking you a lot of dax functions like filter functions calculate some mix rank x like that there are a lot of con DAX functions available. If you want to have a DAX related specific video, do let me know in the comments as well so that I'll make a note and I'll come out with a DAX related video for all of you in, in Power BI interview series. And next element they'll be asking you is a row context versus filter context. And after that, how do you act, optimize this DAX queries? Let's say in your project, there is an already existing DAX query available. So after running your performance analysis in your report, that particular DAX is taking a lot of time. So the interview will ask you, how do you optimize that DAX query? So that kind of questions you'll be facing. So this is related to a phase three uh, called DAX. So I, I suggest most of you to go through DAX for sure. They'll be asking you in this. So this is how, you know, you can able to check your DAX function. So basically they will not they will not focus much on your syntax. The interviewer will try to understand your logic building capability only. So obviously syntax, once you're typing any function of the DAX, the Power BI will automatically give you the syntax. So don't worry much on the syntax, focus more on the logic building, okay? Next phase is called data visualization. So basically it demonstrates your ability to create insightful and you know, aesthetic dashboard. So it, it I, I, believe most of the recruiters will focus on the functionality of your dashboard not like more of a fancy dashboard okay so basically visual selection and customization so for one scenario what kind of chart you are using matters a lot in an interview they may ask you question they'll give you a scenario in that scenario they will be asking you what chart you would be choosing either a bar chart or as, as a table what type of a chart basically suitable for that situation so based on your answer your thought process would be decided in an interview for whether you are selected or rejected okay so visual selection matters a lot next is an interaction between visuals which is nothing but you know filters slices all your charts whether how how you made it interactive and all best practices in data storytelling see usually They'll be asking if your client, uh, you know, in, in one particular report, if you're having 12 to 15 charts, uh, is it really suitable for a storytelling? So obviously it is not. So there are certain best practices in developing this data visualization. You have to talk more on this best practices. If you want a specific video on this best practices uh, followed in order to build these dashboards, do let me know in the comments. I'll try to make another video on that specific to that. So next is a conditional formatting and KPI indicators. So have you, you know, indicated any uh, KPIs, how, what kind of KPIs are there in your recent projects. So you have to talk more on that KPIs, how the entire functionality of your data visualization works. So you have to talk more uh, specific to that interview. Okay. So this, this is, you know, uh, basic uh, level of dashboard. So in the interview, we'll check all the functionalities of each and every chart. Next phase is the final phase in this interview. If you are crossing those four phases with three years of an experience, absolutely you would be selected for sure. And if you are having more than three years of an experience, obviously, you know, the interview panel will again ask you more questions on this Power BI service because you may be using this Power BI, uh, you know, desktop, but however, uh, the, the panel, the company needs this Power BI service experience as well. So which assess your familiarity with this deployment collaboration feature. So are you the single Power BI developer? If, if yes, <clears throat> you have to have this Power BI service. So in this basic questions are related to publishing reports to Power BI service. How do you publish your reports to Power BI service? So managing workspaces and data sets. So as a Power BI developer, how do you manage your all workspaces? How do you manage your data sets? Is there any best practices or not? There are a lot of best practices. Again, if you need a specific video on Power BI service, I'll be noting down in the comments, just comment on this video so that I, you know, I can able to make another video. So if you're watching this video till this, this part, okay, uh, just like this video and you know subscribe to my youtube channel called Bharat Insights so that it will motivate me to do these kind of videos more and more thank you and coming to our part so managing workspaces data sets is really needed and uh, the important question they'll be asking you is a configuring row level security so how do you manage this rls part in your projects and scheduling data refresh and sharing reports. These are the most common questions there are available in this Power BI service. They may ask you, how do you copy your data from one workspace to other workspace? There are a lot of questions available so that I'll park those questions for your, for the next video. So 
this is how the power bi service looks like so on the left you have all you know create reports browse the folders data hub metrics apps knowledge center and workspaces so all the published reports after publishing it will be uh, you know coming in this power bi service so you need to be familiar with all the features all the options available in this power bi service so as i mentioned the entire power bi power bi interview pattern will revolve in this five phases so hope I believe you have got some better insights from this YouTube video and share this video with your friends who are looking out for an interview opportunities and uh, hit like if, if I'm getting 100 likes for this video so that I'll be planning more upcoming videos. So subscribe to my YouTube channel Bharat Insights. So looking forward to see you in the next video. If you're having any other questions, do comment. Happy to answer that. Thank you everyone.